Hi, honeys. How's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Now that my new air fryer has come, should have came here yesterday, but it didn't. Okay, so it came in this box. So I took it out of that box. And here's the air fryer. It came in the packaging box like this. I got it in red, stainless steel red. It's a Paula Dean 10 quart digital air fryer. So I was gonna put the air fryer on the table and already unbox it, but I figure y'all wanna see the unboxing. Okay, came, this was on top of the styrofoam. It's telling you about the crisper plate. It's located on top of the packaging, so do not throw it away. Came with this instruction and recipe booklet. Okay, I like pictures with my recipes, but there's recipes in here. I don't fool with that, no way. Okay. Let me tell you about it. It has 10 preset menu cooking options. I don't use the presets at all. I never have in any of my air fryers. I just figure out what time and temp stuff takes and I go with that all the time. Okay. And what is it? 1700 watt touch control panel. 10 quart ceramic non-stick single basket system. Easy to use. 10 cooking options. I don't use that. Adjustable thermostat from 180 Fahrenheit to 400 Fahrenheit. Digital timer. Adjustable from 1 to 60 minutes. Red stainless steel accents. Air fryer recipes included. Okay. That's all the stats on that. I think. It says easy, easy to clean. We're going to see. Okay. I'm going to put this on the floor so I'll be able to lift this out here. Well, first, this was on top. I had taken this out. This is the crisper plate. And I found something interesting on this. Look at this, y'all. It got the little legs on here. So you can make this stand right at the bottom of your fry basket. Or you could uh, lift it up so your food is lifted up higher to the heating element. I'm trying to make that lay down okay. And the little handle up here that makes it easy to lift out of here. Okay, let me see. Fold these. And you can sit it flat down in there if you want to. But if your food needs a little lift to get more hot air to go up under there to make it I guess cook better. Lift the legs. That's interesting. Okay. Set this on the floor. Make it easier for me to lift out. I got this fan sitting right almost in my face, y'all. I'm hot. I ain't missing nothing. Oh, another one of those papers that tells you don't throw away the crisper plate. Okay. That's it for that box. Okay. Look like a three-foot cord. There's three 
crunks. I'm going to have to cut that because that's through the holes in the crunks. I'm going to have to cut that little thing off. That's how it looks. Okay. When I was reading the uh, reviews on this air fryer, people were talking about theirs came scratched up. Mine is fine. Hope it works. Because I had ordered a Paula Dean air fryer. It was smaller than this one. When they first came out, it came, but when I turned it on I heard a loud clicking sound. Like the the fan that goes around up in the heating element, it was broken and clicking against something. So I had to send it back. I said, I didn't want another Paula Dean. Well, they're going to be sending me stuff like that, but I wound up getting another one, y'all. And this is a bigger one. Okay, let me take this tape off the basket. It looks fine. It's not damaged. We're going to see when I turn it on. I think I need to get closer. I'll just move that so. Zoom in. I'll be forgetting about that zoom button. Put the tape off. Come on, come on. So back in the day, I used to have uh, all my appliances were red. This is a pretty. Stainless steel red. I call it a metallic red. Okay, there. Let's get a good look at it. People say don't take this off. It's plastic. Because when you wipe the basket off, the white writing comes off. Well, I don't use that in no way. It said the Paula Dean name on it comes off. I don't care about that either. See about this. Oh, this is huge. Look how big this is, y'all. Ten quarts. So they said it's ten inches this way and that way. And four inch deep basket. Let me put this plate in here. I'll be demonstrating it a little later in another video. Oh. That's how it is with the plate up high. Okay. This is huge. Wow. So now I'm going to put the legs down. Let's go that way. Okay. That's how it is all the way down at the bottom. And this. Crisper plate has rubber bumpers. Tape on my throat. Got the rubber bumpers. So this itself doesn't scratch up the inside. They say this is ceramic. Okay. So it should be very easy to clean. And I like the fact that. This don't have a separate basket to pull. They pull us out. I like this one basket. Well, let's look up in here. Okay. I see the fan. I see the heating coil. You all see that? All right. Let's turn it around. at the vent so hot air will come out of there and I guess some kind of air will come out of this it's 
around the top. I don't know yet. Hmm. See the bottom of it. It has uh, rubber bumpers on the feet so it don't slide across your collar. Oh, well, you got grips, hand grips on each side so you can lift it. You got something to lift it up by. It's like indentations. Here one and here one. Okay, so this is 1700 watts. This is what you need to get good crispy air fried chicken. And it looks cute. Look at that, y'all. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to plug it. Let me see if I can plug it in here if that cord is long enough. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't plug nothing in. I got to cut this thing off of here. Look at that. So, this is my uh, first look unboxing of the Paula Dink 10 quart digital air fryer. And this is all it came with the book and two of these. Okay. That's enough. So, I'm glad it finally came. And Amber came today to pick up her air fryer. I had promised her, <clears throat> promised her the uh, the two basket Ninja air fryer. I think it's eight quart Ninja. No, I wasn't using it. And when I was giving away stuff, I told her, let my daughters have their pick of what they wanted to get. So she asked for that air fryer first. So it's been sitting here. So now she's in her own new house. So she's going to put it on her new counter. I think she asked for a pressure cooker too. I got one down there. Anyway. I'm going to hold this up. This for a thumbnail. Okay, I brought it in the kitchen. I plugged it in. It's easy to take this basket out and put it back. Unlike my very first air fryer, you have to put it in a certain kind of way. Okay. That's the digital display panel. Um, this is for temperature. How far it go? Oh, it goes up to 400. And set it for, oh, we set stuff for 20 minutes. Pretty easy. Let me see what this wings preset is. For how long? Mm, 20 minutes. Or did I just do that? What is, what is it for the pizza? I don't know. What about steak? 380? I'm going to go to wings. So <clears throat> See what happened. Oh, that turned it off. What's the on? Oh, that turns it on. The arrow. Press play. That's what that is. Bake and reheat. Air fry. That's what I'm con so concerned about mostly. The air fry function. You can bake, air fry, reheat. Okay, don't say nothing about preheating. But you 
can always do that if you want to. I don't know if that paused it or turned it off. Okay. I notice on the basket it don't have that thing. This is sitting next to his little sister. Let's see how big. Oh wow. This new one is huge. Yeah. This basket can almost fit down in it. Can't get over how huge it is. It's not got hot yet. No, it's just warm for right now. Okay, so here it is it's unboxing. So I'm gonna learn how to preset stuff my own self because I like my wings at a certain temperature and time. That's the way it looks, all lit up. Very nice. Okay. Okay, I wanna thank you all for watching. Give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed rest of the day. Okay. Bye.